Now this story is going to be read to you on a record that I put in the record player. And these are very old records, so sometimes it may make a little scratchy sound or skip a little bit. So that's what those noises will be if you hear something unusual. But here we go. Let's... This is the story of Toodle. You can read along with me in your book. You will know it is time to turn the page when you hear Toodle's bell ring. Like this. Let's begin now. Far, far to the west of everywhere is the village of Lower Train Switch. All the baby locomotives go there to learn to be big locomotives. The young locomotives steam up and down the track trying to call out the long, sad toot of the big locomotives. But the best they can do is a gay little tootle. Lower Train Switch has a fine school for engines. There are lessons in whistle blowing, stopping for a red flag waving, puffing loudly when starting, coming around curves safely, screeching when stopping, and clicking and clacking over the rails. Of all the things that are taught in the lower train switch school for locomotives, the most important is, of course, staying on the rails no matter what. You can chug along the railway, you can climb the highest hill, you can skip across the trestle like the biggest engines will. You can huff and puff and whistle till your little boiler's hot. But you must stay on the rails no matter what. Ooh, ooh. Someday you will be a train. Ooh, ooh. Just remember what I'm saying. You can huff and puff and whistle till your little boiler's hot. But you must stay on the rails no matter what. The head of the school is an old engineer named Bill. Bill always tells the new locomotives that he will not be angry if they sometimes spill the soup pulling the diner, or if they turn the milk to butter now and then. But they will never, never be good trains unless they get 100 A plus in staying on the rails no matter what. All the baby engines work very hard to get 100 A plus in staying on the rail. After a few weeks, not one of the engines in the lower train switch school for trains would even think of getting off the rail, no matter, well, no matter what. One day, a new locomotive named Toodle came to school. Here is the finest baby I've seen since old 600, thought Bill. He patted the gleaming young locomotive. How would you like to grow up to be the flyer between New York and Chicago? If a flyer goes very fast, I should like to be one, Toodle answered. I love to go fast. Watch me! He raced around the roundhouse. Bill was pleased. Good, good. But you must also study whistleblowing, huffing loudly when starting, stopping for a red flag waving, and pulling the diner without spilling the soup. And most of all, you must study staying on the rails no matter what. Remember, you can't be a flyer unless you get 100 A plus in staying on the rails. Toodle promised that he would remember and that he would work very hard. He did too. He even worked hard at stopping for a red flag waving. Toodle did not like those lessons at all. There is nothing a locomotive hates more than stopping. But Bill said that no locomotive ever 
ever kept going when he saw a red flag waving. One day, while Tootle was practicing for his lesson and staying on the rails no matter what, a dreadful thing happened. He looked across the meadow he was running through and saw a fine, strong black horse. Race you to the river, shouted the black horse and kicked up his heels. Away went the horse. His black tail streamed out behind him, and his mane tossed in the wind. Oh, how he could run. Here I go, said Tootle to himself. If I am going to be a flyer, I can't let a horse beat me. Everyone at school will laugh at me. His wheels turned so fast that they were silver streaks. The cars lurched and bumped together. And just as Tootle was sure he could win, the tracks made a great curve. Oh, Whistle, that horse will beat me now. He'll run straight while I take the great curve. Then the dreadful thing happened. After all that Bill had said about staying on the rails no matter what, Tootle jumped off the tracks and raced alongside the black horse. The race ended in a tie. Both Tootle and the black horse were happy. They stood on the bank of the river and talked. Tootle liked it. It's nice here in the meadow. When Tootle got back to school, he said nothing about leaving the rail, but he thought about it that night in the roundhouse. Tomorrow, I will work hard. I will not even think of leaving the rails, no matter what. And he did work hard. He practiced tootling so much that the mayor himself ran up the hill, his green coattails flapping. Everyone in the village has a headache. Would you please stop tootling? Can't you practice something more quiet? So Tootle was said to practice staying on the rails no matter what. Oh my, it's time to turn the record over. Hold on, I gotta flip the record. Here we go. As he came to the great curve, Tootle looked across the meadow. It was full of buttercups. It's like a big yellow carpet. How I should like to play in them and hold one under my searchlight to see if I like butter. But no, I am going to be a flyer and I must practice staying on the rails no matter what. Tootle clicked and clacked around the great curve. His wheels began to say over and over again, Do you like butter? Do you like butter? I don't know, but I'm going to find out, said Tootle crossly. He stopped much faster than any good flyer ever does, unless he is stopping for a red flag waving. He hopped off the tracks and bumped along the meadow to the yellow buttercups. Oh, what fun! said Tootle. He danced around and around and held one of the buttercups under his searchlight. I do like butter. I do! At last the sun began to go down and it was time to hurry to the roundhouse. That evening, while the chief boiler was playing checkers with old Bill, he said, It's strange. It's very strange. But I found grass between Tootle's front wheels today. Hmm, said Bill. There must be grass growing on the tracks. Not on our tracks, said the day watchman, who spent his days watching the tracks and his nights watching Bill and the chief oiler play checkers. 
Bill's face was stern. Toodle knows he must get 100 A-plus in staying on the rails no matter what if he is going to be a flyer. Next day, Toodle played all day in the meadow. He watched a green frog and he made a daisy chain. He found a rain barrel and he said softly, Toot, toot, shouted the barrel. Why, I sound like a flyer already. That night, the first assistant oiler said, I found a daisy in Toodle's bell. The day after that, the second assistant oiler said, I found the hollyhock flowers floating in Toodle's eight bowls of soup. And then the mayor himself said, I saw Toodle chasing butterflies in the meadow, and he looked very silly too. Early one morning, Bill had a long, long talk with the mayor himself. When the mayor himself left the lower train switch school for locomotives, he laughed all the way back to the village. Bill's plan will surely put Toodle back on the track. Bill ran from one store to the next, buying 10 yards of this and 20 yards of that and all you have of the other. The chief oiler and the first second and third assistant oilers were hammering and sawing instead of oiling and polishing. And Toodle? Well, Toodle was in the meadow watching the butterflies fly and wishing he could dip and soar as they did. Not a store in lower train switch was open the next day and not a person was at home. By the time the sun came up, every villager was hiding in the meadow along the track, and each of them had a red flag. It had taken all the red goods in lower train switch and hard work by the oiler, but there was a red flag for everyone. Soon, Toodle came tootling happily down the track. When he came to the meadow, he hopped off the tracks and rolled along the grass. Just as he was thinking what a beautiful day it was, a red flag poked up from the grass and waved hard. Toodle stopped. For every locomotive knows he must stop for a red flag waving. I'll go another way, said Toodle. Turned to the left, and up came another red flag. This time, from the middle of the buttercups. When he went to the right, there was another red flag waving. There were red flags waving from the buttercups, in the daisy, under the trees, near the bluebird's nest, and even one behind the rain barrel. And of course, Toodle had to stop for each one, for a locomotive must always stop for a red flag waving. Red flags, muttered Toodle. This meadow is full of red flags. How can I have any fun? Whenever I start, I have to stop. Why did I think this meadow was such a fine place? Why don't I ever see a green flag? Just as the tears were ready to slide out of his boiler, Toodle happened to look back over his coal car. There on the track stood Bill, and in his hand was a big green flag. He puffed up to Bill and stopped. This is the place for me. There is nothing but red flags for locomotives that get off their tracks. Hooray! shouted the people of Lower Train Switch and jumped up from their hiding places. Hooray for Toodle the Flyer! Now
Now Tootle is a famous two miles a minute flyer. The young locomotives listen to his advice. Work hard, he tells them. Always remember to stop for a red flag waving. But most of all, stay on the rail, no matter what. The end.